coming straight out of Compton's kitchen. How's everybody doing? Y'all all right? How y'all doing? Listen, it's a new week. Let's just take it one moment by moment, okay? It's a new moment right now. This is all we have is right now. So we have to kind of forget about the past and press towards our future and know that we can create our future with our mouths and our minds. It's a mindset. It's what we say. It's what we think. It's what we believe. It's what we feel. So, um, and we can always rewrite. We can turn a new page and start over as long as we're here. So let's thank God that we're here. Let's have peace in the midst of this pandemic. Let's have hope in the midst of hurricanes. Let's have faith in the midst of floods and fires. You know, I was thinking about what the Bible talks about when he says, you know, God says that this is just a light affliction, what we're going through, but we can't compare this light affliction to what he has in store for us. We have to keep our eyes on the prize and know that while we're here, this is kind of like a little dress rehearsal, but we only get one life and let's make that life matter. I was trying to remember, I can't remember exactly who it was that said this. I think it's the guy that played in the Green Mile for some reason, <laughs> but um, he said something like, um, Instead of allowing your life to be like an intermission, let it be a mission. Live your life on purpose. I think that's what my rock says right there. Yeah, live a good life on purpose. So God has a purpose and a plan for us. We're still here. Let's make the moments count. As my God, uh, not my godson, my grandson. My grandson says, good moment. And to me, that's saying good moment. You know, today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, I'm in this kitchen. Hey, don't allow anybody to jack you for your joy. I'm in this kitchen and I'm getting ready to make the meal for my parents this week. Okay, so um, what we're going to make is vegetable soup and cornbread i'm also going to cook some remember what i call the fried cabbage but really it's just sauteed in butter with um some slap your mama and a little bit of jalapeno okay so let's get started welcome back to straight out of compton's kitchen hey guys do me a favor be in prayer with me for my friend, my sister, Carol Fields, Vern. I call her Vern. She calls me Vern. Know what I mean, Vern? That's where we got that from. So um, her brother made his transition on Friday. And uh, so I just want her to know, Vern, if you're listening, I want you to know that we're praying for you. We're lifting you up. We're asking God's peace, that he will comfort, he will rest, rule, and abide with you, with Billy Boy, with um, Billy Boy's mom, and the entire family. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so be encouraged. Hey, you guys, you know what? We're just passing through here. This is our home away from home. We're waiting for God to just come get us and take us home. So in the meantime, and in between time, let's stay on our mission. Let's stay on our purpose. Let's make sure that our life counts. Let's make sure that we're making a difference in somebody else's life. I was at a program, a Zoom program yesterday, and somebody quoted Shirley Chisholm. And let's see if I can remember how it goes. Um, service is my payment <laughs> let's see i should have written it down well i did write it down but i don't have it with me um but service is the rent that we pay for the room that we have here on earth 
So the key is serving one another, loving one another, doing something that matters in somebody else's life. Okay, so that's my words of encouragement today. I feel encouraged. Let's have encouragement in the midst of the earthquakes, inspiration in the midst of injustice. Speaking of earthquakes, it reminds me of what just happened in Haiti. So we're praying for those people. Stuff is going on over in uh, Afghanistan. Um, so we just pray for the whole entire world. <laughs> The people in the world. It's not the world, it's the people in the world. Let's pray for everyone and everybody and everything in Jesus' name. All right, so getting over to this soup. What I used was the V8 original, because they have a hot one. But I used the original, 64 ounces of this, and I poured it into my crock pot. I'm going to make my life a little easier today. I'm cooking in the crock pot. So I poured that in with two cups of water. I have a can of uh, kidney beans. And what I'm going to do is pour the water off of this because I got enough water base for my soup. So I poured the water off already. And I'm going to put the beans in. And then I cut in cubes um, potatoes, two potatoes, and you know, use whatever vegetables you like. I have something to say right after I tell you which ones I'm using. Okay, so I'm using the celery. I'm using the green zucchini. I'm using some red bell pepper, yellow squash, red potatoes, and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna pour that in to my water base along with my vegetable juice. I still have some in here. Um, and that's just to give it a really nice flavor. Don't really have to season it, but what I'm gonna do is season to taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my vegetables in my base and then I'm gonna let that just start cooking on high because I want I want it to be done. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't had my coffee. I don't know what it is. But anyway, my mind just be and my mouth can't catch up. So anyway, that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put my vegetables into the base and put it on for about maybe four hours. Uh, four and a half to maybe even five hours. We'll see how it goes. And if I need to add a little bit of Italian season seasoning, I will do that. But if not, man, you know, we'll just see. All right, so I'm gonna put that in and then I'm gonna start making up my cornbread. So I'll be back after my cornbread is done. Um, what I did wanna mention to you is that I'm learning more about fresh fruits and vegetables. And did you know that there are so many vegetables that are hybrid, which means man has done something with it and maybe tried to merge it with something else and created something. So um, one of those vegetables is broccoli. I was like, what? What are you telling me? That broccoli is not just God given? No, broccoli is some kind of a hybrid from uh, cabbage. Who knew? And cauliflower, the same thing. And I think carrots, that's right. I have some carrots here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I got on this subject because I have some carrots and I'm gonna put those in to uh, my soup. All right, so yeah, can you guys believe that? There are some vegetables that are man-made or man-altered. So anyway, go on, Google it. Cause I had to Google it. I said, I don't believe that. I love broccoli. I love the combination of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And I think they even mess with the carrots too, y'all. But I think if they're organic, you know, they might be okay. I'm not really sure. I'm st still trying to do my research of what I'm putting in my body. You know, anyway, y'all, this journey 
is something else. It is something else, but we are so grateful for it. All right, so I will be back after the cornbread is done. Let me just mention, uh, mention um, that uh, I'm trying something new. This is Sylvia's, you remember Sylvia's restaurant? Yes, I'll put the location of where it was founded and all of that because I'm not sure if they're still open because of COVID. But anyway, Sylvia, she has her own restaurant and she's um, packaged her cornbread mix. And it says that it's honey sweet. So we're going to be, you know, me and my parents, we're going to be kind of cheating just a little bit with the cornbread. But everything else is going to be healthy. I'm not using any hybrid uh, vegetables. The only thing is I'm not sure if this is hybrid. Uh, but anyway, I'm going I'm to go ahead and put it in. You know, God's got it. God's got it. Um, all right, so I'll talk to you soon. Welcome back to Straight Outta Compton's Kitchen. All right, guys, dinner is ready. I'm getting ready to pack everything up in the car, go to the store because the babies want some ice cream. So of course I'm gonna pick them up some ice cream. I'm gonna do that for them. All right, so uh, let me show you what I have here. Okay, guys, here we go. So here is the vegetable soup. Doesn't that look hearty and good? Celery, potatoes, zucchini, carrots, bell pepper, um, squash. Just mm, yummy. And you know, of course, if they want to add chicken, they can do that. Um, so that's the vegetable soup. And then here we have my, um, I call it fried cabbage, but basically all I've done is cut the cabbage and, you know, like into, I didn't shred it, but I cut it into like pieces. <laughs> and then I put that in some butter with um, onion and a very, small portion of the jalapeno because it will be spicy and here is the yummy sylvia's cornbread it's sweet it looks like cake um but that's you know they didn't have jiffy so i just picked up sylvia's but anyway that's today's dinner for the babies all right, guys, I love you so much. Have an excellent week. Let me turn this around. Yes, as I was saying, have an excellent week. Make a choice to have joy in your life, to have peace in your life, to have courage in your life. I was just looking at the word encourage. We have to have courage on the inside of us. So encourage yourself today. And know that Chef Vivio loves you.